So you've been playing bots, and now the question is, are you ready to get into multiplayer? The first question is, how well do you know your economy? After playing bots for so long, you should have every economy building down. You should know what your mexes are, your energy converters are, windmills, solar panels, advanced solar panels, even your T2 economy should be very familiar at this point. From a geothermal plant to an advanced fusion reactor, your economy is one of the most pivotal points in the game. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to be perfect on how you interact with your economy, but you need to be well aware of how they function and what their purposes are in the game. If you feel you have most of these down, then you're well on your way to being ready for a multiplayer game. Next important area of the game is a basic understanding of your units. Now this can be a little bit more complicated because there are so many different units in this game, but by the time you play multiplayer you need to have a basic understanding of each type at least. There's artillery units, heavy frontline units, radar and invisible intel units, and a bunch of things in between, not to mention the experimental units in your T3 factory. Just being familiar with these units might not even be enough to get you very far in multiplayer alone. You need to develop a method for taking care of each style of unit as well. If you have artillery that's bombarding you constantly, how do you handle it? If their front line is super tanky, how do you take them out? What about T3? What if it's at your doorstep in your base? You should have an idea and plan when going into multiplayer of how to deal with each of these problems. The third reason why you can know that you're ready for multiplayer is because the AI is just too easy at this point. You can 1v1 a hard barbarian and completely decimate them. You've even gotten to the point where you can do a 1v2 or a 1v3 and beat them. That is a surefire way to guarantee that you have expanded past bot gameplay. The fourth reason how you know you're ready to get into multiplayer is just based on how much you know about the hotkeys. I mean, let's be honest, hotkeys can be kind of tough to get, but you've been playing game after game, hours after hours, and now you have them down, and you're basically a pro. The question you should ask yourself is playing this game muscle memory at this point? If the answer is yes, then you are there. Another key factor to being ready for multiplayer, which is our fifth reason you know, is how well do you understand the support units and the support buildings? By this, I mean the radar, the radar jamming, how to deal with radar jamming, and unique buildings such as the intrusion countermeasure system. Try saying that five times fast. Anyway, these buildings can give you a huge advantage on the battlefield, so it's very important to know how to use them before getting into your multiplayer games. The sixth way that you can know that you're ready is just by your mental fortitude. Are you prepared and ready to get dumpstered over and over again while you learn this game? Honestly, it's not something that everyone will enjoy. In my opinion, getting crushed is one of the best parts of the game. You can learn to adapt and try to find ways to overcome that challenge so that you can be ready better next time. If you're not the kind of person that enjoys that style of challenge, then don't worry about it. This game does have excellent single player opportunities. Grab some friends, play some co-op, kill those chickens, whatever your style is, go for it. Just remember, if that ever gets stale, multiplayer is where you're really going to challenge yourself to your maximum potential.
The next and last reason that you know you're ready to play multiplayer. This is something that I chose to title Obsession. You literally cannot get enough of this game. Every time you play it, it's something new, fresh, and exciting. You tell your friends, you tell your mom, you tell your sister, you tell your family, all of them. You tell your dog. And none of them will play beyond all reason and you can't understand why. It's because you're obsessed with this game. Which, I'm not going to fully encourage obsession, but it's okay to learn to be the best person you can be at something. So get into multiplayer. You're ready. You want to learn more. You want to improve. So just start. Don't worry about all the flaming that might happen. Your first couple of games will probably be terrible, but you'll learn, you'll grow, and you'll start to climb that ranking system. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video, and I will see you on the battlefield.